you know, is basically virtually your full size car scaled down. You know, that's what this is. So, I know I'm taking y'all on a long journey. And once again, you know, more springs, more springs. You know, like I said, battery boxes, more trays, more trays. You know, more center diffs. You know, I don't shoot a lot of videos, but as you can tell, yeah, I, I run my stuff. You know, I run it. You know, I, I, I don't do too much racing no more, you know. Family sort of takes priority over, over all of this right now, you know, but definitely going to get back out there. what I that's what I do you know I ain't saying that's what you gotta do but that's that's basically what I do to make sure that you know I'm always keep my stuff ready and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I'm not the most perfect person when it comes down to keeping the whip clean and so on and so forth matter of fact just because this video is already long um, like I said, that was for the Gama and the uh, the Gama Buggy and Truggy. It's the 801 XT. You know. Same deal. You know. Basically got you, you know, uh, battery tray or boxes. Some... A, B, C, D blocks, you know, with some mounts and stuff. Uh, little things, some screws, a couple sway bars. Hey, you see, I'm sort of rushing through it now, just trying. I know y'all, y'all already stopped the video, but uh, you know, front knuckles. Uh, engine mounts, uh, A block, B block, um, shop caps, steering um, bell cranks, um, radio tray uh, posts. I got, I got them sliding everywhere, man. Keep these parts separated, man. Keep these parts separated. See, I'm slipping right now. That's the one thing you're going to run into. These parts going to catch you slipping. See, they caught me slipping. These parts caught me slipping. They're going to catch you slipping once you stock up. But look at that. Uh-oh. going to break this. Uh, wheel nuts. Um, hub, I said universal, uh, CVA, whatever you call them, um, all of the rebuild parts and stuff. Um, uh, hinge pins, stand links, turn buckles, um, shock shafts, titanium nitride, you know, chrome, shock, extra shock boots, shock pistons, um, Shock mounts, you know, shock mounts for days. Um, all of your, excuse me, all of your um, O-rings and all your machine spaces for rebuilding your shocks. Um, all of your uh, shock bodies. Let's say, you know, B and D blocks, you know. Just depend on... on what brand you got, you know, there's different stuff that you have to stock up on, uh, more links and stuff, uh, oh, spring perches, uh, whatever these is, shock, shock ends and stuff, the adjusters, um, all of the little, you know, little balls that go inside of there, um, 
I get the drill. Like I said, this is what I do for, if I get a kit, this is what I do. You know, and it may take me months, may take me a year, may take me years, but this is what I do, you know. Arms, arms, braces, you know, hub carriers, diff things, uh, center diff mount springs, Rear hubs, um, server saver things. Yeah, get these cases at Harbor Freight or wherever, wherever you can get these cases, man. They come in handy too. Yeah. Uh, shock towers, you know, 801 XT shock towers. Um, more shock towers. Uh, here you go. You got your radio trays. More shock towers. More shock towers. These smaller ones are actually for the buggy, the 801X buggy. You know, more diff crown gears. Pinion gears. Spur gears, extra diff, center diff already mounted up, ready to go. You know, got your, uh, you know, sticker on there, let you know what oil is already in there. Extra springs, clutch springs, more, you know, pin, uh, clutch bell, uh, more top plate, uh, diff cups. Drive shafts, drive shafts, or you know, diff gears. Yeah. Basically, you know, that's what you want to do. You pretty much want to stock up on every conceivable part, you know. But trust me, like, I'm one just like anybody else. Like, I love being able to just get. You know, the whip and everything. But I ran into the issue where I had more whips than I had parts. You know. And I learned, you know, that while it's cool to have a lot of whips, you know. Yeah, you know, I can break one and put it up. Just go pick out the next one and drive that till, you know, the part come in or I can get to the store and all that stuff but that got to be a headache you know after a while when like I said I could just if I bust it up bust it up I can fix it right out in the field you know just bring my parts with me fix it right out in the field but yeah I just wanted to shoot that video and everything I know it's been a while and stuff and I know I took a long time with that but you know hope everybody you know be good you know, I want to send a shout out to um, Corey over there, TTR Racing. Y'all go check his channel out, EKJ24000. You know, check his channel out. Um, shout out to my boy Don Foss, you know, my boy David, um, Nitro Addiction, um, Nitro RC Addict, um, Everybody that's 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 been, you know, looking out for me, you know, everybody that's been, you know, tuning in to me and stuff, you know, checking my videos out and everything, subscribing to me. Y'all subscribe to me, I subscribe right back. This is just how I do it, you know. Ain't no big thing and stuff, man. You know, just everybody, I hope y'all have a happy holiday and everything, you know. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next one.